What has been quite the night already here in AT&T Stadium. But it is time to decide the World Tag Team Championship on behalf of Monday Night Raw. The number one contenders, Raw side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, Jay and Jimmy. The Usos are back at the grandest stage and looking to win gold all over again. Jay and Jimmy returned in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Throughout that tournament, they turned away. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly, and Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits in the finals. Uso's also own recent victories over Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander. Jimmy Uso with a victory over Montez Ford. Jay with a victory over Finn Balor this past Monday night on Raw. It is safe to say that Jay and Jimmy have been red hot ever since their return. But the massive question that looms over AT&T Stadium tonight is, is all the momentum enough to take down the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, the two-time World Tag Team Champions, and the team that proclaims they are the greatest duo to ever step foot in a Monday Night Raw ring. You were looking at the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. You were looking at the Prince, Finn Balor, collectively known as the Judgment Day in the midst of their second reign as World Tag Team Champions. Damian Priest and Finn Balor have collectively hold the gold for 174 days over the last 12 months. They have stepped in there with some of the best teams that the WWE has to offer. From the Street Profits to the Brawling Brutes, you name it, the Judgment Day have fought them. But this is the first time throughout their career that they will ever grace the squared circle with Jay and Jimmy Uso. And if Balor and Priest want to back up their claims of being the greatest tag team to ever compete on the Monday Night Raw roster, well, tonight is the night to do it. The Usos, without a doubt, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. They are back for new competition, and they are back for championship gold. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay the Usos. And their opponents at a combined weight of 439 pounds. They are the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. As we mentioned for the Judgment Day, over a collective 174 days as champions, they have defeated Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, the Street Profits, the OC, the New Day, a series of matches with the Brawling Brutes, including victories in a Tornado Tag and a ladder match back on Christmas night. But here at WrestleMania, they may have met their match in Jay and Jimmy Uso. Only time will tell. The bell has sounded and we are underway for the World Tag Team titles. We talked about it the night Jay and Jimmy returned to Monday Night Raw. They graced us with the words that simply said they are back for new competition. They were back to compete in a tournament that they've never competed in before, that being the Dusty Cup. And they were back to win championship gold all over again. And tonight can truly be the culmination of all of that, but if the Judgment Day have anything to say about it, the Usos not going to get their wish. Finn Balor taking out both members of the Usos in the early going. See how these... Brothers are able to bounce back as this matchup progresses. Ooh. Jimmy Uso taking Finn to the outside in the early moments. Jay and Balor locking horns. 
And Jimmy go after Damian Priest. Well, I guess anything's legal. And it's all fair and love and war. Balor took out the Judgment... Or I should say Balor took out the Usos first. Jimmy taking out the Judgment Day. Remember what happened again this past Monday Night on Raw. Jey Uso with a huge victory over the Prince Finn Balor. How is that weighing on the psyche of not only Balor, but also Damian Priest? Knowing how red hot the Usos have been since their Monday Night Raw return, they have yet to see defeat. Are the Judgment Day coming to this match a little worried tonight, knowing the odds may be stacked against the champions for the first time in their reign? The Usos have held championship gold all across the WWE, stepped away from the WWE over two years ago after they felt they accomplished all they needed to do. New tag teams emerged, new opportunities arose, and new competition for the Usos to test themselves against, which is why they are back here at WrestleMania. And off the super kicks, Jey Uso is met with some of that new competition at full force. The Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, looking to eradicate Jey Uso. Into the cover, Jimmy with the breakup. Damian Priest and Finn Balor, as we mentioned, they have won tag team championships and retained them in tornado tag team matches and a ladder matchup against the Brawling Brutes back on Christmas night of last year. High caliber pay-per-view situations. Now right back at it here at WrestleMania. And it was after WrestleMania last year that Priest and Balor came together that the Judgment Day was formed. And they have really taken over Monday Night Raw for the most part ever since. But tonight is put up or shut up for Priest, Balor, and even Rhea Ripley, who will see defend her title later tonight. Meanwhile, Jey Uso. Combination strikes on Damian Priest. The Usos have really had a target on their back over the last few weeks. Obviously, the Street Profits, two men extremely upset with Jay and Jimmy Uso after they fell short to the brothers. Back at the Elimination Chamber in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And it's because of maneuvers like that. Let's hold that thought. Jimmy into the pinfall here. Going for it. Finn Balor going to break things up. Remember just a number of weeks ago, Jay and Jimmy... Big time victory over Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes. But it was after the matchup where they were ambushed, but it wasn't by the Judgment Day. It was by Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. We're obviously upset that the Usos are getting this opportunity tonight. And not them. But meanwhile, you look inside and now outside the squared circle. And I don't know who would want to be on the receiving end of a flying Damian Priest. Yes, you do what you gotta do when the championships are on the line. But Damian Priest looking to give his best shot and wear down the Usos by hook or by crook. In between the ropes or outside of them. Just tangling up Jay with the sleeper hold like submission. Or excuse me, Jimmy Uso trying to create a little distance and send him into the barricade. Usos can't win the titles via count out. Jimmy knows that, heading back inside of the ring. And now it's Damian Priest in the drop zone as Jimmy goes soaring through the skies like a Dallas Maverick. Great high offense between both of these teams, but who's going to take the most advantage? Jimmy Uso sending Damian Priest back between the ropes. Can he take advantage? Or maybe not. Priest off the duck. Face first goes Jimmy. Retain the titles, and Jey Uso still with his feet underneath of him. Judgment Day could be nearing a retention of the gold, could be going south of heaven, but Jimmy Uso with a headbutt. You never want to be on the receiving end of a Samoan headbutt. The Judgment Day have gone the distance with some of the best teams WWE has to offer, and they better be prepared to do so with the Usos tonight. No strangers to high-profile matches. Damian Priest with the tag to Finn Balor. Jey Uso now the legal man. Back where we were six nights ago, I should say five nights ago, on Monday Night Raw. Finn Balor hoisting Jey Uso in the sky. And Balor delivered this maneuver on Raw. It wasn't enough for the victory. Maybe tonight would have been a different story had Jey Uso not sidestepped him. A roll up that time, but not the result the Usos were hoping for. Momentum picking up a little bit with main event Jey Uso and the Prince Finn Balor. 
Balor going for another strike. May have been overzealous. Jey Uso off the reversal this time. He gets set into the corner. Balor full head of steam. And look at the speed that Finn Balor has brought upon this matchup since getting tagged in. Jay not knowing what hit him. Now Jay Uso on the receiving end of a Judgment Day beatdown. And he has been brought, not by will, but by force, into enemy territory. Off the tag, and now Damian Priest. With some fresh legs underneath of him. We talked about the Usos being ambushed by Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford a number of weeks ago, and that certainly continued to put a target on the Usos' back, but what about what happened just two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw? Jimmy successful in that one-on-one -on -one match against Montez Ford, and then during the replay, we had to rapidly cut back to the ring, the Judgment Day ambushing the Usos with a pair of steel chairs. Obviously, Jay continued to fight on Raw this past week against Finn Balor, I would imagine the Usos may not be 100% tonight after those recent attacks and keeping up a very busy schedule. While well, you got the Judgment Day, last time we saw them in the ring in tag team action, about three weeks ago in the Red Brand, successful against Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers. The Judgment Day have been damn near perfect every time they've had the gold around their waist. The reason why collectively, over two championship reigns, they have held the titles for 174 days of the last 365. And it's because of maneuvers like this as Finn Balor once again muscling down main event Jey Uso into the cover, but Jimmy gonna break things up. And that bloodline of Jay and Jimmy, the brotherhood between them may be their best strong suit in this matchup. Obviously quick to jump in the line of fire if need be for one another. It's certainly to save the day, if need be, in this World Tag Team title matchup. Jey Uso in trouble. Shot out like a cannon is Finn Balor off the drop kick. Into the cover, but again, Jimmy saving the day. Jey Uso's in the drop zone right now. Familiar territory as Balor scales the ropes. Thought he was going to go for the coup de grace. Maybe not. Jey Uso once again getting his lights turned off. A missile drop kick. And Jey is in much need of a tag, but I don't know if he's got the wherewithal to get there. Once again being brought into Judgment Day territory. Most importantly, enemy territory. And the World Tag Team Champions looking to pick the scraps of main event Jey Uso. The Usos have been red hot since their Monday Night Raw return, have not seen defeat, but that wave of momentum may come crashing down here at WrestleMania. Against what more fitting of a team than the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Priest off the top, very uncharacteristic, but obviously willing to throw caution in the wind in the means of success. But you notice Priest with the tag to Balor and was not keeping his eye on main event Jey Uso. Tag is made. Jimmy exploding out of the corner. Samoan drop. Jimmy Uso to win the titles. Not just yet. Finn Balor gets the shoulder up in a close call. The Judgment Day's reign almost coming to an end. The second reign of Balor and Priest kicked off back on December the 10th at Armageddon. Defeating the Brawling Brutes in a Tornado Tag Team matchup. They have defended them successfully ever since. Will they be able to get through this bloodline tonight? Not if Jimmy Uso keeps it up. Superplex down to the middle of the squared circle. Shake it off the cobwebs. A little bit of delayed cover that time. Gave Damian Priest a moment to get inside the squared circle. Nonetheless, the fight rolls on here at WrestleMania. Aller looking to get his hands on Jimmy Uso. Jimmy dodging it momentarily. Back and forth we go. Jimmy, wait a minute, might have got caught. Too much sizzle, not enough stake as he gets dropped right on his crown. The Judgment Day retaining the gold, not just yet. And you hear the crowd here at Dallas. Tag Team Wrestling on display here at WrestleMania. Better than it's ever been. 
and the 2024 Raw Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners looking to get back into this tag team title matchup. Jimmy Uso with a mean shot a few moments ago. One his cousin The Rock would be proud of. And now Jimmy with a drop kick to the corner. Tomorrow night we will see the SmackDown Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and the WWE Tag Team Titles decided. But tonight the spotlight's on these two duos from Monday Night Raw. Jimmy Uso with a shout out to one of the greatest tag teams of all time in the Hardy Boys, a whisper in the wind. Keeping his foot on the gas pedal, exactly what the Usos need to do. Against the ever resilient Judgment Day. And now it's Finn Balor, who may be in the drop zone. Uso splash, call it a three. Not just yet, Damian Priest not allowing it. Uso splash, the same splash that awarded Jimmy a victory over Montez Ford two weeks ago. Unfortunately, not to be so far tonight. And Finn Balor, talk about turning the match on its head. Double boots right to the chest. Trying to can absolutely collapse the chest cavity of Jimmy Uso. Adds a little bit more stake to it. Double knees right to the jaw. I should say to the chest cavity once more as Jimmy Uso brought right to the corner. Business pick it up with a tag team matchup here. Both teams starting to throw some live rounds, throwing their best shots at each other. All the means of leaving, leaving WrestleMania as the World Tag Team Champions. Jimmy Uso trying to find a will if there's a way. Balor may be feeling the fatigue as we start to enter some championship rounds in this tag team title match. And we should expect nothing less. We talked about it earlier. The Judgment Day willing to go the distance if need be. We've seen it last year at SummerSlam against the OC. A resilient fight against the New Day back at the Royal Rumble. The Judgment Day not afraid to enter deep waters. The Usos very familiar as well. Here we go, into the ropes goes Jay. Maybe tagged in as the legal competitor, but so is Damian Priest. And only one man can get the upper hand, and it may be the one representing the Judgment Day. The black and purple versus the white and red, but who is gonna leave with the gold? Well, Damian Priest soaking in the pageantry of his own offense moments ago. The fight is not over yet. Damian Priest, wait a minute, the reckoning on Jey Uso. It has been quite some time since Priest pulled out that maneuver. We've gotten so used to the south of heaven as Damian Priest pulls out the reckoning. Oh, wait a minute, say its name and it may appear south of heaven to Jey Uso. Into the cover, but thankfully for Jay, Jimmy's still on his feet. Damian Priest dishing out some of his best maneuvers, but unfortunately the bloodline may run deeper. Jay with a drop toe hold. May have been a resilient effort to get the momentum back on his side, but how much does Jay have left in the tank after taking some of Damian Priest's best shots? The proverbial live rounds being thrown as Jay delivers a thrust kick right to the rib cage. Another one that time does not land flush. Damian Priest may as well be a knockout blow. Jay is hurt. Jay is down. Finn Balor looking to pick the bones. Not just yet. Into the corner. And this time it's Finn Balor who's in enemy territory. Tag made the Jimmy Uso. And a double super kick heard around the world, but especially thunderous here in Dallas, Texas. Pop up, Samoa drop, reversal by Balor. What a counter that time. Balor skinning the cat and landed on his feet with Jimmy Uso now. Sending Balor into the corner. Who is gonna gain the momentum in this matchup? Scooping a slam, Jimmy Uso feeling it. Finn Balor down and out. And he capitalized, oh man! 
Man, we talked about a Samoan headbutt earlier. That one was delivered with some emphatic force if I ever saw one. Finn Balor's gonna feel that one on Sunday morning. Maybe even Monday morning. Tag made to Jay. Pop up. Samoan drop. Could be Sayonara for the Judgment Day's title reign had Balor not escaped. Look out for Jay. Baseball slide. Finn Balor might have saved the Judgment Day's chances right there. Rolling to the outside. Unfortunately for him, he's met with a couple of shots by Jay Uso. Fatigue obviously setting in. Adrenaline the only thing fueling these four duos. Two duos, four superstars. Let's get it right. Another reversal by the Prince. Another reversal by Jay. And these are the fights you live for, especially at WrestleMania when the World Tag Team titles are on the line. The Usos have had a target on their back. The Judgment Day looking to take him out once and for all and proclaim their spot as the greatest tag team in Raw history. Something they have been preaching week in and week out for months on the red brand. But the Usos did not come all this way, did not make their return to the Monday Night Raw roster, did not fight through three rounds of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic to ultimately come up short. Only one team can get their hand raised and leave with the World Tag Team titles. Damian Priest off the springboard. Into the cover. Could be all she wrote. Not if Jimmy Uso's got anything to say about it. I'll tell you what, man. We are witnessing a phenomenal tag team matchup here at WrestleMania. This is going to be a fight that we remember for years to come. Now Damian Priest, with whatever he's got left in the tank, a broken arrow on Jey Uso. Priest continuing to pull out unexpected maneuvers. Back to the well, could have been looking for another reckoning as Jay had his back turned, but luckily Jay familiar with the position. Oh, shot by Balor. Not allowing an Uso comeback. The Judgment Day trying to try anything to take the wind out of the sails of main event Jey Uso as well as Jimmy. Jay able to get Damian Priest off his back, but he's got Finn Balor on his tail. Jay bringing Balor to the corner, or at least to the opposite side of the ring, away from Judgment Day territory. Reversal that time. This very well may come down to who's got that last shot, that last final blow that's got enough oomph behind it, enough power to keep their opponent down for good. Jay with another thrust kick right to the rib cage, sending Balor into the corner. Balor all kinds of days. Jay just trying to shake the cobwebs off, continue on fighting. He knows the goal at the end of the finish line. Tag made to Finn Balor. Wait a minute! One day! Jimmy Uso tagged in. One day delivered into the cover to win the titles. Finn Balor kicks out. At 2.9, Finn Balor getting the shoulder off the canvas, and you had to believe that was it. The Usos thought they had the Judgment Day figured out. And Jimmy taking out Damian Priest for good measures. Balor in the skies. Nobody in the drop zone. It's now or never for the Usos. The Judgment Day may be tranquilized. But Balor still trying to fight, trying to create some distance. May have survived the 1D, but he knows deep down in his heart of hearts that the damage was done. Oh, Damian Priest with a last ditch effort. Jimmy Uso fighting between a rock and a hard place. Finn Balor with Jimmy up against the corner once more in the middle of this high profile World Tag Team title bout. And now what does Balor have in mind? Jay skidding the cat, but only to be met with double boots by Balor. Tag made to Priest. Damian Priest. The freshest man, at least at the current moment. But Jey Uso, mean shot to the jaw. And again, it's Damian Priest. 
And back and forth, Jimmy and Priest, or Jimmy and Bauer, whatever combination it's been over the last few minutes. Everybody just trying to gain an inch, get an edge. And Jimmy delivers another whisper in the wind, this time to the Archer of Infamy. Pop up, Samoa drop. Jimmy elects not to go for the cover, takes out Finn Balor as he's still standing on his own two souls. Jimmy going to the top. What has Uso got in mind? Whisper in the wind on a down Damian Priest, yet nobody's home. In trouble, the Usos are, maybe not. Priest down once more. Jimmy's got to capitalize off the top. Uso splash, count it ref. Damian Priest kicks out again. The Usos have done all they can do. They have thrown every shot they have. The tanks are empty. The Usos are running on absolutely E. One more tag to Jay. Can the Usos figure it out? They are realizing firsthand why the Judgment Day have caused the destruction that they have caused over the last 12 months. Jay on top. Uso splash to Damian Priest. Does he got him here? No. Balor is up, and as long as there is one man still standing on his own two feet, that the Judgment Day gonna continue forward. Balor knocked off the apron. Jey Uso with his eyes locked. Spine buster. One more time. Main event, Jey Uso. Uso splash. They got it. The Usos have done it. The Judgment Day fought to a broken, bitter end. But tonight they have met their match in not only the Bloodline's finest in Jimmy, but main event Jey Uso walking in and leaving WrestleMania with the gold. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jey, the Uso. Chalk it up for match of the year candidate, the Judgment Day, who have taken the center focus of Monday Night Raw over the last 12 months walk into the grandest stage, but meet their match in one of the greatest tag teams, if not the greatest tag team to ever do it. Jay and Jimmy cementing their return under the brightest lights, leaving WrestleMania, your brand new World Tag Team Champions on behalf of Raw. Remember the name of the Usos. Coming your way on Saturday night, September 14th. Witness the aftermath of the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present No Mercy. No Mercy comes to you live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss championship flashes, personal battles, high stakes, and high rewards, all on the line on the 14th of September at WWE No Mercy.